Hey guys, I'm Anwen. This is my first YouTube video, so don't be too hard on me. Um, I just got admitted to my dream school, Pitzer College, and I wanted to make a video about like my stats and everything like that because when I was going through the college admission process, um, I couldn't find any videos on Pitzer, which was really frustrating because I wanted to kind of get an idea of how my stats lined up to admitted student stats. And so I wanted to create that video for all of you so that you could have um, access to that. Today I'll be talking about kind of just um, Pitzer in general as well as just um, my numbers like my gpa and things like that um and then like my extracurriculars and also just like what was on my application how my application looked like um so let's dive in so getting into like actual numbers my gpa my school only does like 4.0 with 3.8 so it's not great like i said it's not like it's not close to 3.94 um as far as sat and act go um i did not take it because i was like the pandemic class and so there was no way for me to take it. I was going to go take the SAT one weekend and then like everything just shut down. Um, and so didn't submit any SAT or ACT scores to any school. Also, Pitzer has been test optional for 18 years. That's something that I want to emphasize. If you are like me and standardized tests are not your thing, do not submit a test score to Pitzer. It will not hurt you. They say that so many times. They're like, it won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. And if you're not super good at tests, but you're really good at other things, like it could hurt you like turning in a bad test score. So just don't do that if that's not your thing. Um, so that's just kind of like my straight up numbers. If you want me to talk more about like my classes specifically and like what I've taken, I have a group super full schedule um, and all of that, then comment that below. Um, that's another thing, I'm a full IB candidate, uh, which I think is like something that's been like super helpful in getting me into the schools that I've gotten into. All right, moving on to extracurriculars. So I would say like the biggest thing that I also know that was like a really big deal to Pitzer was my nonprofit, my acceptance letter. They said we were so, capital letters, so impressed by your work with Project Baby Love. So I know that that was a really big deal. I also know that like a lot of people I've talked to who've also gotten accepted into the five C's, like all of them, not just Pitzer is um that they have nonprofits like my new roommate like or my future roommate um has a nonprofit like I was talking to some other people who have nonprofits like so many people have nonprofits so if you have a nonprofit you're good to go that's not to say like just start a nonprofit just because like um just to get into a college another big thing that I'm like super involved in is Model UN so Model UN Nations so my Model UN advisor is um, a Pitzer alumnus. And so he wrote me two letters of rec. I'll talk about letters of rec later um, for Pitzer. And so I think that that was like also really helpful. And so another big reason why I want to talk about MUN is because when I had my interview tip, do an interview and do it soon. I've talked to who got in, did an interview. Um, so the admission officer that I did my interview with um, we were talking about stuff and like it was like a super casual, nice interview. I loved it. One of the most like easygoing interviews I did and she was talking about MUN we we're talking about it, and she's like oh like you could come to Pitzer and like restart the MUN program and, you know I kind of thought she was joking and stuff and then later on when I was emailing with her she sent me like an email like oh here's like the link of like how to start your own club at Pitzer like before I got admitted and so I was like oh my gosh like they like um I think like this is like a reason they won't, maybe want me to come and so it was like definitely like a factor that played in was like me like building a relationship with the admission um officer and then like um you know showing them my strength and like what I could add to the community um and another thing is um my dance I've been dancing for a super long time I started a dance team at my school when I was a freshman there wasn't a dance team and I was like I really want a dance team so I started one um I wrote my common app essay another thing was um my volunteer in the neonatal intensive care unit because that was just that was what sparked my nonprofit. so i put that near the top um and then violin was another one i've been playing violin since i was six did orchestra like sixth grade through high school and um played in like the state's orchestra um, so, um i did a medical internship um the summer between my sophomore year and my junior year Another thing was St. Albans School of Public Service, which is an amazing program. I like was so surprised when I got in because it's like super hard to get into. Um, and one of my other letters of Brett came from the director. I got to meet like Pete Buttigieg and um, 
like all of like Obama's really close advisors and like and the deputy director of the FBI and like all this like crazy. Another thing like really related to MUN was my role as secretary in women of Maldives Nations and so it's like an international organization we collaborate with like the United Nations women and so um that's like a really like organizing thing um and so I made sure to put that on there but it's not like and then I also put NHS National Honor Society because like you know you have to have like a certain GPA and like certain volunteer hours so um so those are all of my extracurriculars if you want me to talk more about like those things for some reason just like again let me know in the comments below I'm happy to do like more videos about like more specific aspects of my application essays um so for common app like i wrote mine on creating the dance team and kind of like what it turned into and and then for pitzer i talked about my nonprofit. for pitzer you only write one there's like 650 words so it's like about the same length as the common app essay and um so i was like you know P pbl is something that i love and i just really want to showcase what i've been doing with it and obviously it worked because not only did i get in they wrote on my comments letter that that's what they really loved about um, my application and me as an applicant if you want me to do like a read through of my essays or like essay tips or anything like that because i wrote so many i think i wrote like over 20 <laughs> college essays um again let me know in the comments and i would be more than happy to do that um if that's something that you guys would find helpful um as far as letters of go, i mentioned this a couple of times before um i had my two two of my letters of rec from um an alumnus of all the schools i applied to pitzer was the most and i applied to 13 schools so lots of schools the one that had the most letters of rec options was pitzer use that to your advantage get lots of people to write you letters of rec but only people who really like believe in you really will speak really highly of you um and so i had two from him i had one from the athletic director this is like one of my optional ones i had from the athletic director at my main school which is where i started the dance team the another one that i had was my like main one was from my spanish teacher um because she was just incredible i had her for ap ib spanish and i got an a in her class and she's just like the sweetest person and so um the, my last one was that program that i talked about st Albans school of public service um and the director miss duke wrote me one um just for pitzer i didn't use it for anything else because i didn't really have an option um so that's just kind of like a general like overview of my application um again if you want me to talk more in depth about it um just comment below all right so the last thing i'm going to talk about um are tips like just tips i have like going through the application process and things like that um like i mentioned i would say like one of my biggest tips is um to do an interview um with especially like a Pitzer's your top school but with like all of your schools so i did one for pomona and Pitzer and claremont mckenna i tried to do one for scripts and i like ran out of time um and i think those and read i think that those are like the main schools like the ucs don't do interviews and like u of o university of oregon was like not super high on my list so i didn't do one for that but I re I say like really do an interview get it soon like I said like get it done in August because they do fill up, fill up especially the five C's and like if you try and get an interview and like you and like they can't put you in they make like a note in your file and they always okay this is what I find interesting they always say like oh it doesn't matter like if you don't do an interview it doesn't count against you but what I think they're really saying is like it's better if you do um because um you like they make a note of it in your file right um, so like they wouldn't do that if it didn't matter so i would like say that like get an interview you can it's not the end of the world if you don't like i said my future Rumi, um she didn't end up being able to do an interview and she still got in so like if for some reason like you can't get an interview or for whatever reason like don't sweat it it doesn't like that's not the end of the world but i really do recommend it because like i said i think it really helped me build a rapport and then um i think that also contributed to helping me get in um 
as far as like applications in general um do your common app essay like start working on it over the summer even in june i started working on mine like july because one of the options for the common app there'll be a bunch of different pro prompts but one of them is always like or something else <laughs> so you can literally write about anything for your common app um so do that because you're gonna have a gazillion essays to write once they open in august 1st don't start writing any other essays because the prompts will change um but the common app is going to be one of your biggest one it's going to be the one that doesn't change so start working on that like um the summer before your senior year like july-ish um or whenever you have time um yes yeah, so those are like two of my biggest tips um i can also like maybe do a video just like tips for applications um, but anyway, this video is like already getting super long, so I'll cut it off there. Um, so those are all of my tips. Those are like my two biggest tips that I can think of right now for just like the college application process. So yeah. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I am moving to Laguna Niguel in four months in July, which is like crazy. Like I have like no more time left here. Um, and I was super excited. So that's kind of like when I start like my move down to California and then in August I'll be moving into Pitzer um but there's like so much other stuff that I'm going to be doing and I might be going to campus in April like we'll see because of corona stupid coronavirus um for like an admitted students day so I'll keep you guys updated on all that stuff and just kind of like chronicle my journey with everything um so yeah so don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time thanks so much for watching